Okay, here's my review for A Christmas Carol starring Jim Carrey. Uh, finally, I got to see it because the last two days, Friday and Saturday, I've tried to see it, but they were sold out. So I wanted to see it in 3D, so it was sold out both days. I was like, aw, sad face. And then I finally got to see it Sunday, which is the day that it calms down at the box office. There was a lot of people there, but I still got in. So I was like, yay. I got my 3D glasses. I was like, put them on. I was like, oh, yeah, I look like fucking Terminator on these glasses. I was like, bad. I was like, go back because I was going to get some popcorn. And I was talking to no one because there was no one else there. Well, I, I saw it with my mom, but I was like, just talking to the other seat. Like, I'll be back. And, like She was like, what? Anyway. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, this is a review for A Christmas Carol. Uh, let me go on to story, and I'll tell you what I think about it, uh, obviously, but let's go on to story first. Okay, and the story in Christmas Carol is obvious. If you don't know, then you're dumb, but I'll explain it anyway. Scrooge, he's bitter, blah, blah, blah. Three ghosts come and say, oh, you're bitter, and he's like, oh, wow, I'm bitter, and the end, he turns not bitter. There you go, that's the story. <laughs> well, obviously, it's a little different in this uh, movie. They changed a little bit of things up. They made it a little more scarier. Uh, but that really doesn't have to do anything with story. But that's pretty much how it is. I mean, Scrooge, he's bitter. It doesn't really explain why. He just like, but he just came out of nowhere and said, you know what? I hate the world. Yeah, yeah I know, right? Like, I hate the world. Ooh, fuck this. I'm evil now. Ugh. I'm not really evil. I, I don't really, like, kill children or anything. I don't do that. I just don't help, <laughs> even though I'm rich and everybody's poor. I don't help, and I don't even spend the money on anything. I just, like, look at it, and like, ooh, look at all this money. Ooh, I got money. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The ghost of his partner, late partner, who died seven Christmases ago, comes back and tells him, you better change your ways. And to make sure you do, I'm going to bring three ghosts, three spirits in to make sure you do. Uh, the, go the ghost of Christmas past, present, and yet to come, or future. Uh... Yeah, so they come, they're like, the first one's all like, he's a candle with Jim Carrey's face, and he's like, I am the ghost of Christmas past, and he's like, he gets all up in his face, like, what, what, you gonna do something? And he's like, oh, no, don't hurt me, and uh, yeah, Jim Carrey's like, well, they're both Jim Carrey, Scrooge and the ghost, he plays all the ghosts, by the way, even the freaking last one, which is pretty much a shadow, but he does the voice of him, even though all it does is, oh, Anyway, which is weird. I guess he plays the character himself, like he moves around as him. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so he plays a a lot of parts. He plays mostly Scrooge as a young kid and blah blah blah. He also plays a uh, Scrooge. He also plays uh, all the ghosts, pretty much. So yeah, past, present, and future. Past is a candle. Present is some fat guy with a beard. And future, like I said, is pretty much a shadow, Grim Reaper kind of. Uh, character. And if you don't know the story by now, then you're dumb anyway, so fuck you. Anyway, I, I always... Oh, so, sorry, I didn't mean to curse. Uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, by the way, this is a uh, R-rated review of a PG-13 Christmas movie. I shouldn't be doing that, but uh, fuck it anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a story. That's how I explain it. I know. I go off topic. I didn't really go off topic this time, to be honest. I just went off topic. Talk about that and go off topic. Huh? See how that works? Anyway, I didn't really go off topic. I just want like, to talk about it. I didn't go like, oh, Jim Carrey. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you know what? He's going to be in the Three Stooges movie. Anyway, let's go on to acting. Okay, now I have to admit, the last two movies Robert Zemeckis made, uh, Polar Express had t Tom Hanks. Uh, Beowulf had uh, pretty much Angelina Jolie. This one has Jim Carrey. It's always like one main star and a whole bunch of other supporting cast. Who does good? I mean, last year, uh, last time it was uh, Angelina Jolie, pretty much. Even though she wasn't the main character, she was the biggest star of it. There's always a big star in it. It's not like a whole bunch of no names. It's always a big star. But Jim Carrey's in this one. Does he do good? Fuck yes. I think this is probably the best portrayal of Scrooge yet. Even though I think Scrooge is a little bit, a little more of an asshole in other adaptations. I think uh, how Jim Carrey plays this one. He does great, okay? Now, I've heard people say that, oh, this movie is, uh, sucks, but Jim Carrey did good, uh, I guess. But, you know, he sucks. I mean, the, the movie sucks. And uh, Jim Carrey's good, but Jim Carrey's in the movie the whole time, and he's the whole thing about it. He's the character. But so for some reason, the people think the movie sucks, but he's great, but he's in the whole freaking movie. He never, I don't think there's, like, any part where you don't see... Uh, Scrooge in one scene, like, Scrooge could be, I mean, it could be a scene where a family dinner, but Scrooge will be there somehow, he'll be watching the window or looking 
with one of the ghosts. I mean, he's always there, so you can't really say that this movie sucks, but you'll love the Scrooge character. I mean, come on, man. Scrooge is everywhere, so you must like this movie somehow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the acting was great. Jim Carrey did great. So did Gary Oldman, actually. Jerry, uh, Gary Oldman played uh, Bob Cratchit and uh, Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley is the ghost that comes and goes, oh, ghosts are coming. Oh, I'm scary. Oh, my jaw fell out. Oh, rrr, rrr. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, you, you you get what I'm saying if you saw the movie. And uh, uh, he also plays Bob Cratchit, the son of, uh, I mean, the son. I mean, the father of Tiny Tim. He also plays Tiny Tim. He has the looks of Tiny He, I mean, he does the facial of Tiny Tim, but he doesn't voice Tiny, t- Tiny Tim. Uh, so, yeah, the acting was great overall. I mean, you have all the other people like Bob Huskins, or, yeah, I think that's his name, Bob Huskins. Uh, yeah, he's in it for like four minutes, uh, not even like four seconds. Carrie Ells, who does a uh, doesn't even voice anybody, he just plays the character. Really, he plays uh, uh, fuck. How come I can't think of these freaking names? I mean, I hate when I don't. Uh, anyway, Dick Williams or something like that. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, he plays uh, Fizzy Wig's uh, apprentice, the other apprentice, Dick Wilkins. There you go. Dick. He plays Dick Wilkins, but he's in, like very small role. Uh, yeah, the acting was good overall. So let's go on to. Uh, I get, you know, I'm going to talk about the animation, and then I'll be done. Okay, now the animation in this movie obviously looks exactly like Polar Express and Beowulf. Beowulf looked excellent. Polar Express, not as excellent, but I still thought it looked really good. For a first attempt, definitely did great. Uh, this movie looks fantastic, I have to admit. Everything looks great. I don't care what you say about every other character model. I think they look great. Bob Cratchit, uh, obviously Scrooge. All the ghosts look great. Uh... Uh, Jacob Marley, the ghost, well, the first ghost looks great, all the ghosts look great, all the character models, I don't care, the environments look great, the 3D was awesome, because I saw it in 3D. Now, uh, I have a, maybe a couple problems, obviously, maybe the, the faces of some of the character m- models, but besides that, I mean, the way they moved, the way the cloth, like, cloth from someone's clothes moved or the way some expressions were it looked great i mean the snow effects were great definitely in 3d because it looked like it was in theater and stuff I, I i just thought the animation was great overall and overall the movie is fantastic i think i thought it was really fun really good maybe not the best animated movie this year it might you know what it, it's the most fun i had in the anime movie this year I would, well not really uh, cloudy with chance meatballs was a little more fun but I thought this was definitely a close second to Cloud Witch and Meatballs. Up, up was fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's more of a like a you know, it's a, it's more of an adult uh, anime movie to me at least. To me at least, uh, I said the me, <laughs> the me to me. Anyway, yeah, it, it's more of an adult. Yeah, I would say it's third, but this is second in most fun because I mean it's I mean it is adult kind of anime movie, but I mean it's still whatever. You know what? I like it a lot. Okay, it's definitely going to go be in my top ten. A lot of anime movies were great this year. I mean, Nine, Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs, Astro Boy was pretty good, uh, Up, obviously, uh, you know, uh, Monster vs. Aliens. There's a lot of great ones, I'll just say. There was a lot of great ones. Anyway, this is no exception. This one's fantastic. Not as good as Beowulf, but better than Polar Express, I'll definitely tell you that. Anyway, overall, I have to give this a 9 point. I'll give it a 9.2 out of 10, alright? Definitely higher than most people. Some people give it bad reviews and stuff. You know what? Fuck you anyway. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's going to be people on the comments that goes, Oh, my opinion's more, more important, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? My opinion is better because I can make videos. Can you? Probably not. If you can, well, your videos are going to suck. Mine are awesome. Yours suck. There you go. Ah, I win. You don't. <laughs> go see this movie. It's awesome. Bye.